Hi, my name is Brian Barnes, and I'm uh, going to be talking to you about the Adventures in Critical Thinking comic book series. Uh, I put these comic books together um, at the University of Louisville with a grant from the I2A uh, Critical Thinking Institute at the University of Louisville. Um, the uh, middle uh, page you see there has some of the information. A lot of people I have to thank from the Foundation for Critical Thinking and from I2A. Um, really nice uh, student writers on this project. Um, I'm publishing six comic books in this series. Uh, really great student illustrators for all of the comic books. Um, and I have uh, a few methods that I think people can use uh, in order to uh, uh, get started with the comic books if you're a classroom uh, instructor or if you're just trying to learn uh, the Paul Elder critical thinking method uh, on your own. Uh, with these comic books. Uh, first, I would say you could use these comic books to identify critical thinking vocabulary. Uh, there are a number of uh, critical thinking uh, pages. This is uh, the Elements of Thought from uh, Paul and Elder's Miniature Guide for Critical Thinking, uh, Miniature Guide to Critical Thinking Concepts and Tools. Uh, here's the intellectual standards, uh, sort of in the comic book's own style, uh, intellectual traits, egocentric bias, and sociocentric bias. Uh, and these are replicated, if you'll see, by, or they're indicated, I should say, by colored boxes, uh, borders around the boxes. There's an orange border, for example, a blue border for elements of thought, um, green border for intellectual traits, uh, etc. So uh, these are the kinds of colors that you'll see, and this will prompt a student or a reader that um, the uh, critical thinking idea that's going on is happening on that page. Uh, and so they can go back and then look at those panels that I just pulled up, uh, which are in the comic book. Uh, they're in each comic book. Uh, and those, um, those will correspond to the color. And then people can figure out the vocabulary based upon uh, that review. Uh, also, um, you could reconstruct the thinking. Uh, you know, you could ask yourself, do I agree with the reasoning that's going on here? Once you know that these are elements of thought and they're used for analysis and these are intellectual standards and they're used for assessment, etc., um, then you can go back and you can recreate the thinking. Uh, so you could go sort of panel by panel in this uh, comic page and you could see if you agree with Paul's uh, analysis based upon um, your understanding of the information that's presented uh, throughout the comic. Um, a reader could also engage in self-reflection uh, based on this activity. Um, you know, uh, a reader could say, oh, well, I agree or disagree um, with what's going on here. Um, you know, the approach that, that Paul, um, the main character, is, is taking. And then the reader could, um, you know, look at his or her own egocentric or sociocentric biases and see, um, you know, or maybe, you know, find the evidence uh, to demonstrate why they believe the way that they believe. And so that takes us directly into um, a natural judgment. Uh, the reader can make some decision about what he or she thinks uh, with regard to the reasoning and the, um, the reasoning that's happening uh, in the comic book. So I hope that educators will contact I2A at the University of Louisville um, and, uh, and you know grab some critical thinking comic books uh, or maybe... Uh, Contact me, Brian Barnes, about making your own critical thinking comic books. Uh, these are just sample pages. The um, you know the finals are are you know much nicer, and um, I'm sure that they'll be useful for you in the classroom. So thanks for watching.